In this short video I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily set up the remote control app for your Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. I'll also show you the different app functions and how I use them to help me get the most out of the car. Sound good? Let's check it out! To download the app, go to your app store and type in Mitsubishi PHEV. The app is listed as Outlander PHEV Remote Control. Once downloaded and opened, it should take you to a screen like this. The app will guide you through registering your VIN, for which you'll need to be in the driver's seat, and is as follows. Step 1. Close the driver's door. Step 2. Make sure that your foot is not engaged with the pedal brake, and then press the power button. Step 3. Within 30 seconds of step 2, alternate between pressing the lock and unlock button on the key fob for a total of 10 times, starting with the lock button. A buzzer will sound indicating the vehicle is waiting to be registered. Step 4. You will need the SSID and password which should have been provided for you at the time of purchase. If you are unable to find these details, they can be obtained from Mitsubishi Customer Services and I pop their email address in the video description box below. Step 5. Enter the SSID and password and then press OK. If correct, a tick and the message VIN registration completed will appear and allow you to start using the app. Displayed initially is the charging tab, which allows you to see how full of electricity your vehicle is. If actively charging, this will glow electric blue and shows you how long is left until fully charged. Pressing the schedule button takes you to the charge timer settings where you can choose the days and times you want your PHEV to charge. Three custom timer settings can be allocated. It is useful to note the full charge option which gives the car permission to continue to charge until the battery is full, even if the charge timer period has ended. Once configured, it is important that you tap send to complete the instruction. If you want to find out more about how to charge at home for less and even get paid by your electricity supplier to use electricity, we've covered this too and you can check out this video by clicking in the top right hand corner. The next tab allows you to adjust the climate control. If you're imminently setting off on a trip and want to defrost, heat or cool your car, you can tap on the climate control symbol. It checks that you're not planning on a murder or an unexpected accident that even Jonathan Creek may struggle to comprehend. You can then select the mode and duration required. Be aware that the longer the duration, the more it will reduce the battery level and therefore electric miles. Selecting the schedule button takes you to the climate control timer settings and this for me is the most useful bit of the app. On those cold frosty mornings, there is no better feeling than being able to jump in your car and go rather than scraping off the ice and waiting for your windscreen to clear. Like the charging schedule, you can choose the days and times you want it to come on, and again, three custom timer settings can be allocated. Once configured, it is important that you tap send to complete the instruction. The status tab shows you whether your car is locked and allows you to turn on your headlights and side lights for a short period of time. I have to say I've never actually used this function before, in fact I think this is my first time. If you can think of a good use for this apart from boredom or finding your car in a car park, please let me know in the comment section below. The settings tab allows you to check and change several things remotely. In particular, the vehicle settings are helpful and I will often turn off my autofold mirrors via the app in the winter to reduce the risk of the mirror motors being damaged by frost or snow. If you found this video useful, please do like it, subscribe to our channel and join our Facebook group to keep up with new content we'll be uploading. Thanks for watching, see you next time.